they miss you. But it's too late to come back. They now realize the big mistake they made. They were in a relationship with you, but did not appreciate you. They had little to no regard for you. They and the shiny object syndrome. They saw shiny objects over there and thought that these objects were better for them. In other words, they were with you, but they saw someone else. They saw other prospects, other people who they thought they could have had a better life with. They went for these other people that other person but to their disappointment the grass wasn't greener on the other side if they had only watered their grass if they had only attended to what they had if they had only appreciated the good person that you are if they had gratitude they would still be walking with you today you were all about them you give so much to them you give them your all but they had no clue what they had <laughs> Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. They had no clue how valuable you were. They were there treating you with contempt, disdain. But now the whale has run dry. You've heard that you never miss the water till the well runs dry now your well of love of kindness of loving kindness is no more in their possession they can no longer benefit from all that you have to give they did not realize your worth your value back then but now they do oh my goodness it is hard it is painful for them they shouldn't have let you go they had it good they had won a grand prize they had won the lottery when they had you and it is not every day you win the lottery but they who won the lottery lost it all like somebody with a poverty or broke mindset who wins the lottery and in no time they lose it all they were not a match for you they did not deserve you so they had to lose you now that they have lost you they are there missing you like crazy they wish they were still with you they want to rekindle something with you but it is too late they don't want to make a fool out of themselves and ask you back so they will give you subtle clues that they are still interested they will be in your dms they will message you they will not talk about a relationship they will not talk about love but secretly they want you back but guess what it is too late why 
Will you take them back? They had a chance back then. Hmm? They did not grasp that opportunity. Why will you take them back after all what they've done? After the way they have lived their life? How about the relationship they had? How about the relationship they have? How about that person they chose over you? What is wrong with that person? Why don't they stay there? Hmm? You've already said goodbye to them. That is it. You've already spewed them out of your mouth. You've already thrown or thrown up. You are not about to go back and eat your vomit like a fool returns to his folly. You are not about to eat your vomit. You're not a dog. You're not an animal, so to speak. You're not about to eat that. That's gonna get you sick. Your body has already rejected it. Your mind has already rejected it. You have already rejected them. You've given up on them, rightfully so. Sometimes they left, you tried to rekindle. At the beginning, they would not listen. Time has gone by, you've already moved on. And it is when you move on that they often want to come back. But I said it is too late. Too late is their cry. They should have appreciated you. They shouldn't have treated you the way they did. There you were, the advancing one that you are. There you were, somebody who brings so much to the table. But they were too blind to see your value, too blind to see your worth. Hmm? They did not know that you were going to rise in life. They did not know that you were going to do well, that you were going to be on that advancing path that you are on now, that everything would have ended up working out for you and it's only the beginning. They thought you were nothing. Now they are getting this reality check that you are everything. All of that love you brought. And they're looking, they are searching for you in others, but they cannot find you. They are finding out how unique you are. There is none like you. See them going from partner to partner, from date to date, trying to find you. There is none like you. They are broken hearted, but they brought it upon themselves. Am I supposed to feel sorry and go back? Are you supposed to feel sorry and go back? Forward ever, backward never. How about that? Forward ever and backward never. They are the ones who blew it. They are the ones who messed up their life. They are the ones who built that world for themselves. And now they have to live in it. They are the ones who sowed those seeds. And they have to reap what they sowed. I did not invent it. I did not make it up. I did not make the law. Neither did you. Did you do it? I don't think you did. I think that you were only kind to them. You were good to them. You wanted a long, loving, beautiful, fantastic, amazing relationship with them. They slacked off. They thought they would have become all that and more. They would have become rich and famous. They would have become... Whoo, 
on top of the world they would have been on top of the world you are too low for them hmm? where is all of that now that they have failed they want you you're winning they want you too late is their cry i said they wish they were still in a relationship with you they want you back they want to be in your life they see you winning you're shining you're more beautiful than ever before more handsome more amazing more pre prettier than ever before and they want some of that they want to be able to boast and say wow this is my man this is my woman this is my husband this is my wife boyfriend girlfriend call it whatever you want <laughs> they want to be able to say that but the door of mercy is closed <laughs> too late is their cry it is too late too much has happened they have too much baggage you're not gonna bring that back in your life you're not gonna put up with this furthermore you've grown so much if it were today you wouldn't have even started a relationship with that person if you knew then what you know now as an airplane is flying by and the birds are singing hmm? the sun is shining hmm? the breeze is blowing hmm? <laughs> we're here in nature we were just having fun we we're just chilling chilling we're raising that vibration no time for sadness only gladness Woo! no time for fear only love we're moving up if you were there feeling all down all sad all depressed this channel is there to hold your hand hmm? well it's me along with this channel and along with all of the advancing ones who are part of this community all those who've been supporting the channel all those of you have been so kind all those of you all of you have been leaving your comments who have been smashing that like button sharing the video those who have even featured me in the short videos and stuff i appreciate you we are all one community and i am here to remind you of your greatness some people want to think that you're small or they want to make you think that you're small you will be no part you will have no part to playing this they want you to feel like you're nothing no you're something and you're something amazing one who is part of the most high part of god part of source hmm? one with all of this intelligence infinite intelligence you're not beneath anything or anyone you're great you are great as a co-creator with source part of god comes from god son or daughter of god call it whatever you want remember your greatness remember your divinity yes so now that they see how bright your light is shining they want some of it your light is shining brightly light always wins positivity always wins you are there more than more than surviving you are thriving and they want some of it they want to be part of it but they are not aligned to it they just want to take from you their mindset and yours are not even aligned your vibration and theirs are not even aligned they think differently to you they don't see things the way you do oh my god what a nightmare it's gonna be if you ever decide to go back to these people if you ever decide to eat that vomit you're not doing it what a nightmare it's gonna be they don't even know who you are right now they think they do a lot of exes think they know you you were in that relationship with them and after all what you went through that built you one of the best things that can ever happen to you is heartbreak i'm telling you 
in the short term it's difficult but in the long term you learn so much a lot of people who are the best counselors who are the best coaches who are the best therapists preachers and so on they have been through stuff if somebody hasn't been through anything and is speaking to you I don't think you should listen to them maybe it's something they have read in a book they have not experienced anything they don't know what you feel I know what you feel let me tell you something I know what you feel yes and I am not necessarily I am not necessarily talking about my story a personal story it's also what I have learned it's also guidance from source but I have been through as well that is why I can talk to you and that is why I can express it in the way I am and that is why you're still listening you're still watching <laughs> yes so as the birds are singing they now realize what they lost they wish you were still with them but it is too late why do they want to come back to make your life a living hell it wasn't good you were asking for more you were saying I want a better partner I want somebody who could be there for me you were asking for better it doesn't matter who left you were asking for better and the universe always listens always has God always listens when you ask it is given so they had to be out of your life god the most high source allah what do you refer to god as the bigger part of who you are remove them from your life remove them from your life a vacancy was created for somebody new to enter a vacancy had to be created that is why they had to be gone from your life there is a juicier better relationship for you some of you have already experienced that juicier better more delicious relationship and it's better because it's built on what came before be thankful for your ex be thankful for what came before because that taught you what you don't want on a short term micro level it is bad but ultimately you win on a macro on a macro level it is good for you all of these failures these failed relationships were building you for better so now that you're stronger now that you're a better person they want to come back but they no longer fit in your life that is it it is over no more goodbye have a great life i wish you well i hope that you do well you hope that they do well you don't want bad for them hmm? you don't want them to have a miserable life no that is not what you wish for them but at the end of the day it doesn't matter whether you wish them well or bad they are still the ones who have to want good for themselves and they will have it they have to wish others well and they will have it they will have to stop making everybody's life a living hell and their life won't be a living hell it will be a living heaven how about that as we hear in nature oh yes i said they did not want you back then but they want you now because you're doing better than ever before and you will continue to do better than ever before you you will continue to do well you will continue to thrive that is what we're saying we're sending that out there we're putting that out there in the universe we're making that affirmation that everything is great we're sending out that prayer that everything is wonderful health wealth love and happiness be unto you 
As you hear, my name is Manchus. My name is Manchus Kazabo. This is the Advancing Channel. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. Everything beautiful, positive energy. One love. God bless. And all the best.